Here we are at Chessington World of Adventures Resort and we're gonna do a walk through. Yeah. So yeah, let's do some walking. Let's point out things that are not good and more bad. Yes, like here you can buy supplies. Good. Good. Over here is the Maurer Show, I believe that's how you say it, spinning roller coaster, Dragon's Fury. Good. <laughs> Bad. Here's uh, where the, we can see if, if uh, the dragon's working. No, no dice. Bad. Now we're going to head past Dragon Delights, which has what's over there? The best bench at Chester Yes. Resorts. Unfortunately, it's right by. Wild Asia. Sun Free sun cream though, which I'm all about. We can get behind that. We're gonna go here. We're just gonna keep wandering around until we've now penetrated Wild, Jet, Wild Asia. We're, uh, we're going past the Jungle Bus. Did you know there's a market? I bet you didn't. I, I did. There used to be a snake in there. Over there we have Tuck Tuck Turmoil Dodgem. And the Monkey Swinger, where I do believe the fountains have been turned back on. Yes. And here's the Elephant Tree. There is Temple of Mayhem. Here we have ooh, with a freshly painted sign the, the Zamperla Disco Coaster Cobra. And we can go take a closer look. There we go, freshly painted. For anyone who's interested in some rules. Keep Lagoon, that is everything here in Wild Asia. But we're gonna pass uh, Lorikeet Lagoon as we head on over to Land of the Tiger, otherwise known as Mystic East. These gates is explore glamping. I don't know of anyone who has ever done that. I don't even know what glamping is, if I'm honest. But yeah, now we're gonna head down through the. Ah. Now we're gonna go the back way, past the rear of Dragon Falls, and up this way. Chessington history nerds out there. If you can see that this fencing just here, that is where the old Chessington Railway used to run. For those of you who are old enough to remember that. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, Chester, that doesn't include you. <laughs> and over here, we have the danger of ride death area. And here comes a boat. For Tiger Rock. Exciting. As we now head down. past probably the worst places to pee on park. Yeah. That's the leaping tiger fireworks. And we're gonna head on to Tiger Rock. As we go through the queue line. I may even throw in a cheeky POV of this ride if you're lucky. As we now head around. buy a rain poncho for the price that the machine must be set up so you can't. But journey down the Amaral River, enter the cave of the Tiger Spirits. We now go and we'll see you shortly. I miss Logger's Leap. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. I'd rather have Logger's Leap than Project, what's it called? Exodus. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Pointless strobe. What is that meant to be? That. I, I, I don't understand the point of that. Ask the you don't see a bug. Oh, bonus moistness there. into another tunnel. I put smoke in this tunnel personally, or some haze. Where's all the washing gone? Yeah. Here we go then. Oh, up on lift two we go. I feel like some music as we're going up this would be quite nice. Yeah, and that's fair point as per every long tune, the rollbacks, anti rollbacks are very loud. Oh, there we go. Big wave. Whee! Yeah. 
<laughs> well, that wins one of my favourite announcements ever. Phones are fine, cameras are fine, umbrellas are a no. Oh. Also, who brings an umbrella on a log stand? If, if you do that, put in the comments, I'm an idiot who brings an umbrella on a log flume. Please keep arms and legs inside the boat at all times. Yes, ma'am. Oh, God. Oh, this was a dumb idea. Ah! Oh, that wasn't that bad. That was uh, so, somewhat moist. Yes, we got somewhat moist here on Dragon River. Because that's the correct name. Tiger Rock is a stupid name. Yeah. Oh, the elephant's gone as well. Oh, that was Tiger Rock. We now head round to see the rest of Land of the Tiger. Sure, you can see it's a quiet day here. Only a five minute queue. This fountain used to spit water. So this used to be, this rock work here used to be a dragon. Now it's just rocks, which is a shame. Past the uh, Land of the Tiger smoking area. As we head round. We are passing Tiger Treats, Donuts and Churros. Chessington here, the Buddha, information about said Buddha, there we go, that's a sneaky little viewing hole for uh, balls, tiger rock, whatever you want to call it, it says, he wonders where the next boat is, there it is. See about pointless barrier. Courtesy of Theme Park Dude Reviews, he's going to tell us all about this pointless barrier. What does what that? What does that stop you doing? Probably stops you going in there. But yeah. Uh, here's tiger enclosure. 
Don't know where the tigers are today. Oh, in fact, they're over there. We're going to go and see them in the observation tent. As you can see, just here. I'm going to show you a splash. Apparently, we will show you a splash at some point. Give you time to hit subscribe. There we go. We're going to go to the observation tent here. As we can see. He is loving the sun. Oh my god, this is a th thing you will spot at Chessington quite often, his uh, theme park review dude reviews, whatever his name is now. Hello. Uh, he, he's vlogging, yes. shorting, taking all the sort of content that you might maybe possibly could possibly maybe want to see. Yes. Do you want people to subscribe? If they feel the need to. Okay. Pressure, it's a free country. Yes. Okay then. Well then, there we go. I mean, let's now continue our tour around Chessington World Adventures Resort. Let's see if there's a ring-tailed coyote thing. No. Giant guinea pigs. They're not in their enclosure today. Oh my god, look at the size of that tortoise. I was gonna press that poo. And the poo. I mean, tortoises do poo quite substantially large for their size. Uh, yeah, so this is the giant guinea pig enclosure with another tortoise. I shall call him Barry. Uh, and then over here we have what used to be Toadie's Crazy Cars, which is now Jungle. What's it called now? Jungle Rangers, something like that. And here we have Giant guinea pig! Giant guinea pig! <gasps> Hello, giant guinea pigs! Okay, these are my favorite animal. He is called one, they're called Cappy one, two, three, and four. And they're hiding in the shade because it's very hot. There we go, look. <laughs> yeah. Um, and here is the mighty, mighty river raft. which a lot of people love. It's a junior log flume. Takes up a bit of the space that Tony's used to used to cover, but uh, alas, Tony's isn't there anymore. See ya. And then we head into the Forbidden Kingdom. Up to Tomb Blaster. Which has had many, many iterations in its life. It looks like it's had a bit of a pain. That's good. Uh, if you look behind this sign, if you can see, see there's a bee up there? Behind this sign it says Forbidden Tomb. I don't know if we can get any better view of it. Not really, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, Tomb Blaster. And then you have the uh, aerial elevated queue line for busier days. If you head down this way, it heads to the best place to pee uh, at Chessington World of Adventures, which is the first aid toilet. Are we going on river rafts? 
Yeah, okay, we might go on river rafts. In fact, we're going river rafts now. Yep. So you lovely people watching this video can have a POV of river rafts. So let's head that way. See, cresting over the uh, tree line there is Dragon's Fury. So we now head this way. Looks like they've had to update this sign. They put a little thing on it. But yeah, let's uh, let's go join the queue. As we're here, enjoy this POV. So here we are, my first ever ride on river rafts here at Chessington World Adventures Resort. This may kill my phone. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Hey, buddy. Hiya. Yeah. I am tipping. I'm tipping quite a lot. I'm tipping. Yeah. But watch out for monkeys. <laughs> Fast moving rapids. Right, here we are. We are at the lift hill. The lift hill with no visible anti rollbacks. Uh, yeah. Oh, we've stopped. I'm about to get rear-ended by a grumpy theme park dude. Oh, we're on the move. We are on the move. I mean, it's been very relaxing so far. Talking in the car is weird because of how it is. You've got a lot of reverb in here. Oh, oh. Are we ready? Because I'm not. Oh God! This was dumb. Oh, here we go. Ah! Oh! God damn, that's wet. <laughs> it went right in my eye. So yeah, that happened. Oh look, here he is, here he is. <laughs> so yeah, that was River Rafts, the mini log flume, here in Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Yes, so, after River Rafts, we're just here. We're down past uh, Treetop Hoppers, which I would know as Jungle Bouncers, uh, from my days operating it. It's closed all day today, unfortunately. And over here we have Jungle Rangers. Enjoy this POV of Jungle Rangers. Yeah. Is it? Mine's just like that. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Ranger. Oh. Take the wheel. It's You're off on an adventure through the rainforest of the world to spot some of the animals that call the rainforest their home. Be sure to press the button in your car that matches the creature when you see it. 
I'm just gonna do it anyway. Here we go. Who's the pecan? He's a Oh, fine. <laughs> Says the giant guinea pig. Where's my giant guinea pig? So, so what are we calling this? It's not a workshop, according to Poppy. It's a overnight station. Overnight station for Dragon's Fury. With this really large jelly. This one's just woken up. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bedtime for this one. Did you press that button? Tell you Anna. Oh, push the button. Push the button. There he is. Oh, look at the little baby dad guinea pigs. Oh, look how tiny their enclosure is. We have to be really quiet so as not to disturb that beautiful panther. Doesn't I hear that right up? That's still tiny. That's all right. Nah. Let's go. Nah, still. Look at that tiny little pond. They had a much better enclosure. Oh, the river raft is uh, doing its thing. Yeah. Look at that beautiful baby elephant. It's behind us. It's not toadies, is it? No. I mean, to be fair, they took out a big chunk of toadies to put this, put a um, junior log flume in. <laughs> oh, this is a snake on the roof. Oh, on Toadie's house. Yeah. There's some bird poo on that LED light. I'm a snake. That's the sound of people from head office. Where are you going to look? Don't be afraid. The snake you see is actually Did very friendly. Did you even get in there as an animal? I just love this. What, one per boat? Yeah. Any toady Easter eggs in here? Uh, let me see. There, I will find some toadies Easter eggs. There better be some toadies Easter eggs. I mean, that's where his car used to be. No. Yeah, I know. There is a lizard in there. There he is. Oh yeah, there he is. And that is not Toadie's crazy cars. So it would have been nice. Okay, and now we're going to head back and we're going to head this way. As we've done a quick look at this area of the park. Uh, we've been on river rafts. It was uh, slightly damp. And we're going to head down to Croc Drop, which is the replacement for Ramesses Revenge. So as I'm sure you can see, there is a crocodile. Uh, no spinning today on Croc Drop, uh, unfortunately. Over here we have the main stage where they put shows and stuff on. Nothing's on, so you don't need to see that. And here is Ramesses Croc Revenge Drop. Is it better than Ramesses? No. Does it spin anymore? No. Does it tell a good story? No. But hey ho, here you go. When it gets swallowed by a crocodile, it's the place to be. And then we're going to go past the chicken shop called Dropping Drop Chicken, which makes no sense. But hey ho! Hat Buffalo Chicken Sandwich. And we're going to head down. Here, right in front of us, just here, is first aid. As we head into the Wan Yama Village and Reserve. Over here is the home of what used to be Rodeo and then was indeed the Flying Jumbos. 
rodeo has now gone. Jumbos has moved and become Elmer's. So we now head down the bridge towards Zufari. Ride into Africa. It's always a bit awkward this bridge because it goes over the service road. A POV. Here it is. Remember, you must remain seated and hold on tight at all times. Hold on to any cameras. And don't put your arms outside the vehicle. Your round area where flamingo are excited. I love these incredible birds. They are easily identified by their weak footage and spending time standing on one leg. I can stand on one leg. <laughs> As you continue on your journey, remember that all of our expedition vehicles are fitted with the very latest in satellite tracking technology, so we can keep track of you throughout your journey. Keep your eyes peeled here. These strange rock carvings are very old and we're not sure exactly what they mean. We think they might be a warning to local tribesmen to stay away from an ancient cave, but we're not sure why. Keep an eye out, researchers. Our satellites show you should be close to seeing some giraffes. Giraffes! Wow! Or, to use their scientific name, Camelopardalis. They got their name because they look like a cross between a camel and a leopard. Put the two together and you get Camelopardalis. Now, look close to everyone and make note of how many animals you can see so that we can document the number of this herd. In the wild, the giraffe population has dropped by 40% in the past 30 years due to poaching and habitat loss. The Chesterton Conservation Fund supports giraffe conservation by funding scientific research, field surveys and improving security of the reserves. We think giraffes are some of the most amazing creatures on the planet. They can live up to 25 years in the wild and can grow as tall as 6 metres. That's 18 feet. That's as tall as a house. <laughs> yes, and their long legs help them run at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Whoa, that's as fast as a truck. Their long necks enable them to reach the tops of the trees for their favourite snack, leaves. They also sleep for no more than five minutes at a time. <laughs> They're just wonderful. Which is why it's vital we continue our efforts to preserve this magnificent species. They are magnificent creatures. I call them jolly tall. Our 
satellites are showing that something's obstructing the route. Oh, no. It looks like an abandoned vehicle, and there's no sign of a research team it belongs to. We recommend that you find an alternative route. But don't go too far off the track. What about the car? tell you when it's safe to leave the vehicle. Thanks for joining us. What a wild adventure that was. We hope to see you again soon, ah. here at Zufari. Goodbye everyone. Bye. 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 Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. As we are now going to head round to Review, do some theme park dude reviewing. Zufari. Uh, good, serves a purpose. I feel that the best part about the safari is the giraffe enclosure. Yeah. The tunnel you go through needs a bit of work. It used to be really good when you had the walk. Yeah, section. That's debatable, but okay. Needs a bit of work on that. All in all, solid family ride, I'd say. Yeah. Solid family ride. And luckily, it's not an upcharge. So I know a lot of parks have already upcharged for that. Yeah, that's fair. So I'll give them that. Done well. Maybe a nice little coffee shop there, though. To yeah, sort of look over the safari. Yeah, could, yeah. yeah, all in all, solid seven out of ten. Yeah. There we go. And that is the random bridge review. <laughs> because that's a bit of a boring walk. As we head back in to Forbidden Kingdom, once again past Croc Drop, which is sort of just, it's just there. Like, it's, it, yeah. I feel like Ramesses just became such an expense and they sort of panicked to replace it. Um, because Ramesses was an expense, <laughs> but you know, because of all the accidents, you know, you, you'd lose the elevated queue. I mean, the elevated queue is still there, I don't know, as you can see. Um, looks like they're already starting to put lights up for Halloween. There's a green light over there, it's just changed to purple for some reason. And annoyingly, they put it behind the bars. So you're gonna get shadows. There you know. That makes sense. But as you see, uh, here's the entrance to Crop Drop and the shop. Do you go in the shop or the entrance? Who knows? So, yeah. Audio is quite loud in this area. Need to sort that out. But we are heading into Mexicana. The home of the Mexicans. If you're a smoky person, you can get some free sun cream and have a smoke. Now, this. All the nerds out there who've got this far, tell me, that, that, see it there? Did that come from Thought Park? That's what I want to know. Here we have my old favorite. She's showing her age a bit, but here is Rattlesnake. She could do with some love, let me tell you. To be fair, this whole area could do with some love. Um, paint it though, not season, is it? it needs a lot more than paint. This whole area could do with being closed. It looks to me like uh, Scorpion Express, not Runaway Train. Scorpion Express uh, is closed. Yeah. Uh, I 
think it's going to be uh, down for the rest of the 2023 season, if I'm honest. But hey ho, this whole area, you know, it's an old ride. You know, hopefully someone's looking after the scorpions that are in the queue line. But yeah, as they say, the runaway train is a fast down bumpy ride. So sit back, hold on tight, because here we go. Choo choo. That's that. We're now going to head this way to what I call Market Square. I don't actually know what it's called. Adventure Point? Adventure Point. I called it Market Square, but nonetheless. Um, yeah. For some reason, somebody decided rattlesnake is two words. It's one word. Bloody name of an animal. Again, music's quite loud here. Doesn't need to be that loud. After all that hassle they spent getting the water wheel working and it stopped again. Just can't win, can we? Boats are away. It's the adventure tree. Up above here is still, it's still there. The uh, station for Safari Skyway. There's the old exit. Sort of makes me sad. Miss that. Um, yeah. Thanks, Tree Carousel. I mean, I'll be honest, here's a sign I never thought I'd see at a theme park. Take a walk on the sausage side. Over here we can see what remains of Safari Skyway. Oh, it's just really sad and depressing really. But hey ho. And over here we have tiny truckers behind those trees. And the flying jumbos. Or Elmer's. Elmer's flying jumbos or whatever it's called now, I don't know. But this is one of Chessington's originals, so yeah. Ah, top five places to pee, these toilets next to the shop. So, so we head into... Back into Adventure Point again. So loud, so unnecessary. line information board not working so we head into shipwreck coast Honey. Honey. we have another Chessington sort of original sea storm don't know if I'd necessarily want to call one of my boats Titanic but that's what they've gone for Here we go. 
in honor of Professor Burp, here we have Miss Bubbleworks Wash House next to that ride. Um, some news, is there anything interesting on the news here? Someone stole the fish. Uh, and then over here we have barrel bail out. kids ride. A lot of the boats are always out of action so I can't necessarily say it was the best uh, investment the park ever had. And down here we have Black Buccaneer or Blue Barnacle or whatever it's called now. We're the cheeky view of Dragon's Fury. So we're now gonna head round to Transylvania, or as they call it now, the Wildwoods. As it does look like Vampire is going up the lift hill. Wild Woods as we can go on the Gruffalo River Ride adventure. Enjoy. We can turn. Ah! Makes sense. <laughs> Roasty Fox. Oh, there's the loop in the VT for the waterfall. Hello, projector. You're actually relatively well hidden, I'll give you that. That, that one, on the other hand, not so much. Oh, 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 oh. All bags and goose belongings are not permitted on Dragon's Fury. 
to witness the vampire taking flight. She's an old girl. Yeah, so we're now walking through as far as, far as I'm concerned, it's called Transylvania. Um, as far as I'm concerned, that's McDonald's. It's just wish it tasted as good oh, as there McDonald's. There's a burger kitchen at Drayton Manor. Oh, apparently there's a burger kitchen at Drayton Manor. There you go. The things you learn on the Chessington walkthrough video on YouTube, mate. Eh? press the button if I do that. Oh, yeah, go press the button. We're going to. I have something very interesting to Oh, he's going to show us something very interesting, but he's going to press the button. <laughs> there's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh, what's all this uh, about? Yeah, I beg to differ. There's one there. So, so. The version of the bug for wolves, yeah? Yes. It's still red. Because yeah. we're fortunate enough to still have it red. They can't have it in the towers yeah. of the environment. Now, you know me and my love for this part of the park. I do. Tell me, what is wrong with this Legend of the Flag Forms book? What is wrong with the book? It's no longer the concrete engraved one. 
Oh, it's just called Legend of Blood Falls in really used, badly painted. Uh, it used to be a nice concrete one with engraving on it all properly. Yeah. It's now... Uh, yeah. I mean, let's be fair. This area just needs some love. Like a lot of the park, to be honest. You know, first the fast track entrance is over there, then it's there, then it's there, then it's there. They cannot make their mind up. Uh, but here is... Um, the entrance. Here's an interesting thing that we're going to have to take a U-turn. It looks like uh, because they are preparing. Don't you know for Halloween? So yes, we're going to have to go back round because oh. they're preparing for Halloween. But that's okay because it means you get to enjoy watching Vampire take flight over here. as they stolen 13's creaking noise there with the twigs. And that's that. So now we're going to head off to the last remaining part of the park for you all to enjoy, uh, which is the newest part of the park. And it is called Picnic Field. Sorry, World of Jumanji. It used to be a picnic field. But yeah, so we're gonna head over to the World of Jumanji, past Bubble Works, what was Bubble Works, which used to look a little bit something like this. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed that bit of history. So we are going to head, as we said, to the world of Jumanji, which is the strangest IP, in my opinion, that they've ever gone for. But as we're here, we'll go for one last shot of the vampire. the empty seats and that is quite a quiet day for some reason there is an owl and a Clifford yeah this whole area is just not what it used to be yes this is important to this park as nemesis yeah. is to I know they call this blue barnacle, but as far as I'm concerned, it's black buccaneer. Yep. Uh, we'll go this way, it's less hilly. Yes. Yeah, Chessington is not known for its flat ground. In fact, I can't think of a single Merlin park that is, has like flat ground. Uh, Colossus Hill and down towards Saw. Yeah, but you can have it kind of I don't know if the goats are out and about. There are goats that live sort of, not in the ride area, but within the ride's queue. Uh, yeah. I've always never understood why, if they got rid of um, Griffin's Galleon, put some netting up, that'd be a perfect entry into uh, Land of the Dragons. As we head, mm, nope, Mandrill is back open. Right. 
So we're heading to the final area of the park now. It is a very hot day. We hope you have enjoyed your tour of Chessington World of Adventures Resort with us. Soon to be water park. Soon to be water park. Which, to be fair, it doesn't look like a very good water park though. It's, it's going to have nothing on Splash Land. Well, that and they're cutting off more of that Wanyama view from the hotel. Yeah. So it's, it's right. I can only apologise if you can't hear us now because the audio in this part of the park is so obnoxiously loud. Um, as we now come into the newest area of the park. Pass on this trail -y stuff. Uh, there is this thing. It don't work. Sort of come to expect that. And over here we have the Ostrich Stampede, which is one of three new rides here. See? Hippopotamus. He's a hip hippopotamus. comes on the top of his head now. So there we go. So yeah, they're still using the virtual queuing system. I think it's stupid. Um, and I'll point out a thing on the sign that they still haven't fixed. It's been like it all year, but they're still not going to fix it because Due to the wild nature of mandrel mayhem, anyone over 1.95 meters tall, nothing. So yeah, will they fix that? Probably not. Uh, some games and stuff down there. I can only apologize for how loud the music is again. Um, there's all these little like adventure climby things. Climbing adventure child. Oh my god, I'm too old. There's a uh, elephant thing, dragon thing. And there you go, that is the world of. Jumanji. That is Ostrich Stampede. It's been a hell of a walk this, let me tell you that. If anyone's still watching, fair play. Uh, some giant turkey legs. Apparently they're famous. But yeah, that is, that is World of Jumanji and we're going to be back to where we've begun. So thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe and comment. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Say goodbye to the internet.